for joining us today on RPV TV. I'm Maria Soreo. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. And Liz, we are here today at Robert E. Ryan Park as we continue to celebrate the city's 50th anniversary. That's right. Rancho Palos Verdes is turning 50 on September 7th, but every month, our city is celebrating big, and here at Ryan Park, it's Picnic in the Park. It's Picnic in the Park, and as you can see, we've both brought many things in our picnic basket, and uh, we're having fun. We've got music out here today, and people are starting to come out now. It's a little overcast, but it's going to be a beautiful day, Liz. Yeah, giving a little scene center, like Maria said. We're sitting here in the middle of this beautiful park, which, you know, is been named after Robert E. Ryan, but yes. there's also a very special tree grove at this park, yep. along with incredible vistas of the of the ocean and a magical ship playground. Uh, we're also going to hear from um, some of our city leaders today as well, Liz. Yep, we have members of our city council here, right. we have VIPs, lots of kids and families. You know, Having fun. People are here to celebrate our 50th, but there's also there's some birthday a parties birthday, here. A fifth That's birthday. right. Yes. yes. So a lot of action going on here in the park today. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Emergencies and disasters can happen at any time causing an extended utility outage. Incorporate these easy tips to help you and your family deal with major utility outages. Know where utility shutoffs are located and how to use them. You could be on your own for some time. Gather your supplies now. The steps you take today can help ensure the safety of you and your family. Contact us for more emergency preparedness and disaster safety tips. Hi everyone, my name is Enis Sassisson. I'm with the City Clerk's Department as an Administrative Analyst. We're here today at Ryan Park. We're celebrating a picnic event. This is one of our 50th anniversary celebrations. A little fun fact, I worked here. This is my very first job here at Ryan Park. It's been about eight years since I've been with the City of Rancho Palos Verdes and each year we throw on wonderful events and these new events are just bringing more people together. It's making the city more lively and it's just all of saying thank you to you residents and we just want to throw a lot of more history and just thank you for supporting us and we just want to give a little thank you back for doing as much as you can for the city. When I look back over the years, I have seen Ryan Park change tremendously. We have wonderful murals, we have wonderful equipment for the residents and also for the children to enjoy. This park is extremely special because it provides a lot of greenery for soccer events, softball, since we have a baseball field over here. This park just provides a nice intimate but also distance the way family members can enjoy their own time, but if they want to come with one another, they have that opportunity. And there's basketball courts here as well. And just everyone who has different sport tastes can enjoy Ryan Park. Just thank you again and hope you had a wonderful picnic event with us. Welcome back to Picnic in the Park. Our party continues That's for right. Rancho Palos Verdes 50th anniversary and we're ready to break out the picnic. Let's break it out, Liz. I want to I see what you brought. Okay, so Maria and I, we discussed this and like what were we each going to bring. We, we love that. It's all, you know, it's nothing like doing a community event and, right. and coming together and everybody pitches in. Now, first of all, first want, and foremost, before we, I know we're dying to see what's in our picnic basket, but I have to mention this little baby because you can't come to a picnic without a picnic blanket. That's right. And the city of RPV has some very special ones that they made. And as you can see, the logo is on there. And what a beautiful gift for some of our residents. Yes, they have, they're giving them out to the first um, participants today. They're yes. coming down to picnic. Beautiful. And it's fabulous. So, yeah, here we go. So, we've Gorgeous got a blanket. You, know, you got to always have a blanket. That, That's beautiful. That always makes your picnic official. It does. And you can't have a picnic without a football and a baseball. Yeah. And this is Maria. Maria's contribution is always. I didn't bring a frisbee, but that would have <laughs> also been fun. Next the time I will. Football. Football. Got, got a little baseball. Because, you know, this is a great, you know, you know oh, Ryan fun. Parks where a lot of, lot of kids have come and play right. baseball. There's here. actually a baseball field over there, and there's some kids over there right now playing okay. baseball. So, it's fun. And, uh, yeah. So as far as what I, we brought for the okay, picnic, yeah, some food. I told now. you, drum roll, drum roll. I worked really hard on this. There's to me no picnic complete without Kentucky Fried Chicken or any fried chicken if you want to make it. So I brought ourselves a bucket for Team RPV TV. All right, TV. a bucket we're, of we're chicken. We're going to be breaking the. the it is still warm. <laughs> Yep. So, and it's finger licking good. Okay. Yeah. It's finger licking so, good. And then, of course, I, I had to bring in the Rams bag. Yeah. What does Maria got? Multiple, multiple baked chips. Yeah. Uh, so we've got baked, let's see, crunchy cheese and uh, barbecue for the barbecue. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, we got some chips here. Chips okay, always go well. We got. And so now 
with the chicken. I have some coleslaw that I made. Okay. And also, you know, I don't know, coleslaw to me is always like a staple at a picnic. I, and I, you know, where we've kind of been focused environmentally more and more, and I try to do um, not, re, you know, reusable. Yeah. So I brought those you know, are nice plates. I got I got our cloth napkins. We're gonna okay. lay out. All right. And um. Let me open up here, I'll zip up. So we've got the chicken that's going to come out. and uh, Wow, look at all this. And Liz oh, really went to also, work here. I, I just love, you know, this spring is everywhere. So we've got the flowers, got some flowers going. flowers going on. And, yeah, um, so we've got, we'll, got some water. Homemade coleslaw. Oh, Marie, I'm nice. going to make Marie eat her vegetables today. You know, my kids uh, love coleslaw. Yes. It was I, an easy way to get them to eat veggies. Okay, that looks um, great, make Liz. It healthy. But this is actually, has broccoli in it, Maria. Nice. So you've got some chopped up broccoli and, and um, cabbage and easy to make. And you've got snap peas yeah. in there, which I love. Yep, and I knew Maria, she eats a lot healthier than I do, you no, can tell. You know what, I used to grab these in the grocery store when I was a kid. Here, and have a snap peas. I thought these were so get, good. So we've got oh some gosh. snap peas I'll put mm. on a dish. And then finally, so um, I'll just eat these. We've got the old watermelon. So, you know, I've cut everything up. You know, it took me one hour this morning just to kind of cut everything up, toss the coleslaw. It doesn't have to be complicated. That looks delicious. And you know what? You can always stop at the sandwich shop. I did pick up the chicken, so we got some coleslaw. Also, so yes. go ahead and the other. Maria's in charge open. of dessert. Dessert well, and. this is part of dessert. Some drinks in the other. So we've got. In the other bag. We got, we got our desserts and beverages. So, so here we go. Okay. So this is important because at the same time as you have to bring. Some kind of dessert. She's got it all locked up. It's going to be pretty special. I know. Hold on. We're getting it. I feel like I'm opening a present. Okay, wait. Let's see. We have some. I put Marie in charge of desserts and beverages. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, we have to support the Girl Scouts. Oh, I love this. So, the Samoas, which are so good. I could just live on these. And then the drinks in there, Liz, of course. Maria does not go anywhere. If you want to be her best friend for life, yeah, any time of day at any Coke. picnic, bring the Diet Coke. That's right. So that's what we got. We're going to have so a little we got fried chicken, coleslaw. We're going to be serving up. Aaron. We're going to have some fun. So stay tuned for that. And, you know, there's so many amazing parks to picnic in in Rancho there's Palos. There's so many. Days. Take advantage of it. You get out in Mother Nature. And right. Just, and learn them all. I mean, they all have something different to offer, too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But today it's Picnic in the Park right here. All right. After that yummy picnic, it's time to check in with some of the event organizers. Good afternoon. My name is Karina. I'm the Deputy City Manager with the City of Rancho Palos Verdes. I'm so glad that today we were able to host our 50th anniversary, which is Picnic in the Park. The Picnic in the Park was really important, as this happens to be the city's famous tree grove city. Right behind me, we have the three city trees and right before us is the plaque. This grove of trees is dedicated to Gordon Curtis, Dorothy LeConte, Fred Hess Jr. for their contribution in the corporation of the Rancho Palos Verde City of September 7th, 1973. What a magnificent day. In a few months, we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary, celebrating 50 years of when the city was incorporated. And today, today we got to enjoy community coming together, having a picnic, enjoying the music that we had that was live, great performance but also they were able to receive a blanket and they utilize that blanket to enjoy their picnic. So if you didn't get to join us, no problem. Hopefully we'll have another picnic in the park and maybe we'll see you there. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Trotner with the Recreation and Parks Department. We had a great day today, great picnic in the park. This was a joint effort, staff and volunteers knocked it out the park, no pun intended. This is one of our most popular parks. Hundreds of people come on the weekend here at Ryan Park. It offers beautiful tree grove, playgrounds, basketball courts, and just a great opportunity to come out and see all the great parks and rec that we here have to offer. All right, well, we have a very special guest that's visiting us today at Picnic in the Park, our Mayor Pro Tem, John Cruikshank. Welcome, John. Oh, thank you for having me. What another great event that we're having for our 50-year anniversary for our city. Absolutely, and thanks for spending some time with us and having lunch with us today. That was fun. Well, it was fun, and the, what was really fun is you guys brought Kentucky Fried Chicken. And so there's nothing more fun than a big greasy bucket of chicken. <laughs> I, I knew we would get the Mayor Pro Tem behind the mic once we, sh we pulled out the bucket. and uh, But you also did. all the you goodies. You bribed me to come over here to this picnic area. I could have gone to any of the others. Right. You could have selected but anybody. But. but when you picnic with your family, what, what, what do you like to bring? Just curious. So what I like to bring, uh, of course, is sandwiches and a big bag of chips because those are easy <laughs> and uh, fruit fruit salad is always a nice thing to have uh, in any type of picnic event 
Well, Maria and got And cold you, beer if it's legal. Yeah. Maria got you covered with the chips because, of course, she had to bring it in her Rams bag, but she had every possible baked chip because she's going healthy. Oh, Making that, up for the fried well, chicken. Well, that's smart. And I the mean, it's good, it's good to go healthy. You know, just, just a little bit healthy. We're going to have Girl Scout cookies for dessert, though, so. Yes. Oh, yummy. Well, I'll hang around for that. All right, well, it's not a pie, but it is dessert, and we are supporting the Girl Scouts, so everybody has to have a cookie. Ready? Uh, All right. Okay. Dude, I, is it not Almost. appropriate to say don't lose your no, cookies? I'm not eating a whole bag. <laughs> okay, well, you can All share. Right, so what instead of the pie eating contest. <laughs> oh, it's ready. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Ready for what? <laughs> but me and Maria have a challenge because we have we have no, no. we, have, oh, we're not we gonna, have a microphone and a cookie. Right. We can oh, do that. Well. We can right. do that. Here Trust we go. me. Like so, all right. We have here to we go. Everybody to come over. Come on. We're doing a cookie, ready? a Girl Scout cookie we're eating contest here. Everybody's contest. eating these. Ready? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Cheers to our Cheers to everybody. So good. Slow and steady wins the race. We are so good. Mm. Delicious. Today we also got some swag. Yeah. Uh, this is all folded up. Uh, I did not fold it up because I don't think I have the ability to refold it. But this folds out to be one of these these wonderful blankets. Actually, that's not one of the blankets. Though. No, that's no, your own. Isn't that amazing. It's RPV colors on the blanket. No, I was going to say you tricked me a little bit, but I could see the tartan <laughs> is a little bit different. A little bit. Yeah, no, it's nice. But if you come out here and join us, you can get one of these fine swag rugs or blankets yeah i think the city's really going big with it being the 50th fun for you to be mayor pro tem and we appreciate your service you've been on the council for years now and um, this is a very special one so every month the city has taken its time out to do uh, you know to go around our community to all the great places that we have this park is really special you got the vistas you got it's just a gathering spot for family my kids call it ship park i don't know if you brought no, well okay, i don't know if you can see it in frame behind <laughs> us but there are ships back there and yep. uh yep. I mean, really, a park is special when it has a ship, a rocket ship. Yes. <laughs> and, and, you know, this one's super special because there's a butterfly mural on the top, which is so gorgeous. No, I, I understand that. And I understand, uh, based on some of the artists that it's been viewed online thousands and thousands of times, which is really a tribute to how great the art is. And having murals at a park makes sense because uh, families can come and enjoy and see this type of art and inspire them for future mm -hmm. art. And since we're bringing up the butterfly mural, I've got to give a shout out to two people. We have Dana Torrey, who is a part-time city employee with Park and Rex, who is stationed here. So go visit him. He works here at Ryan Park. He was the artist behind the mural drawing. But then with him, we had Elizabeth Ryan and her family. Her father is the founder from the First Council. This park's named after Robert E. Ryan. So Liz's dad, Ryan Park, she was there with their kids. And of course, when they kicked it off, it was during 2020, during COVID. So they had, I think, um, I heard almost 100 volunteers but it was a different time, but considering they got it done in a year and it's absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's not just gorgeous, it's fun. I mean, when my son was growing up, we would, and I live on the other side of the hill, uh, we would come to this park because there's a lot of open space here. And mm -hmm. of course the, the the play area for the kids is really fun. And, and so this is a great, great park for families. Um, so I'm glad that we're doing an event here uh, in this location. And of course, we are sitting right next to the famous tree grove that was planted in, I think, I, don't know if, I want to say 1977, but it was named after four founders, or the trees were planted in the owner, I guess, of some of the early city founders. Right. Should we quiz you on all four of them? No. No. Uh, please don't. I, I think I it mean, was Gordon Curtis was one. <laughs> Dorothy I mean, Lacan. Look the notes down here and actually <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. read from them. I'll go ahead and do that. Dorothy Lacan and uh, Fred Hess Jr. Yeah. and uh, yes. Gordon Curtis, and I don't know who the the fourth is. I guess actually. it's the fourth tree grove. They call yeah, it's the, the fourth city. Three people, yes. The no, fourth cities. Yes, fourth fourth grove. city. Yes, and that's yes. because we're the fourth city on got the it. peninsula. That's right. So we got. Th we got to be. <laughs> I just got through it. I, we can get any through problem. this. Sometimes you got to use the notes, is though. A and I, I'm, not, I'm not ashamed to use notes. Yes, I mean, I, I don't go. memorize yes. everything. Einstein didn't even memorize his phone number. He said it's in the phone book. <laughs> so I, I don't know. feel bad. I, I feel so, better now. Now yes. that you said that. To so be official, Fourth Cities Tree Grove because we're the fourth city. But there's three founders the trees were planted in honor of. That's so right. thank you. You know, we always say it takes a village. Everybody did it did their part to get our city going. And your your council is keeping the vision, which is about open space, right? No, of course. I mean, we keep adding more open space when it becomes available. Um, and then when you travel regionally all around L.A. County, you find that a lot of cities ask us about that because a lot of cities do not have open space. And you realize how valuable it is to a community 
when you see that other cities don't have it. So it's unfortunate for, for other communities, but we always welcome people from all over to come and visit us. And I think we have 1,500 acres now that we've acquired another 100 recently. Uh, 1,500 acres of open space that's protected forever is really amazing. Just a little, uh, just a little uh, hint here to rem remind everybody that 4th of July is coming up, John. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's a big event. Wow, so let's see, May, June, July. So I, have, I don't really practice for the pie eating contest. I know you've asked me about that. I did. And I've, I've lost a tiny bit of weight since the last time, but I don't practice. I mean, there is really no practice. You just have to psychologically know you're taking in several thousand calories very quickly. And uh, just knowing that, you just you just go for it. Yeah, I did ask you today if that was going to happen again on 4th of July, and you were like, absolutely. Does Councilman Bradley know this yet? Well, I mean, that's the thing is I, every, it's kind of like when you're wrestling and you yell uncle, you know, that means you've <laughs> given up, right? And, and every year he has the opportunity to say yes or no. Yes. I don't, I don't, and, and you'll, you'll start to hear it at the council meetings. He'll start going, right. you know, you'll start, he'll start to talk about it. You'll start to talk about it. And then it gets a crescendo by the 4th of July. And I just sit and listen to him during these council meetings. And yeah, you, know, you think in council meetings, we just take care of city's business, but he seems to interject his very interesting sense of humor that um, it actually keeps our meetings pretty light, yeah. and I appreciate that. And that's and, important city business as well. Yes. You know what? It's interesting. I was t we were talking earlier about some other council meetings, and other council meetings are more serious than ours. But I think that's what makes our city special is that we're able to still have a little bit of lightheartedness, right. and uh, we're doing serious business, and we and we take our city business very seriously. But I think as city leaders and and staff and that we need to. We need to be friends, and and I think at the end of the day, we make tough decisions, but we also need to get along. We need to be able to communicate, and and so the pieting contest is just one of those things where we kind of let our guard down and say, hey, you know, we're we're residents just like all the rest of you, and we like doing silly things like yes. eating pie very quickly. And, and all, it's very entertaining, so yes, we're looking forward to it. Thank you. And no, and the the belt's coming back. The yeah. belt is awesome. I love well, the the piting belt. Well, the fun thing was uh, we got to give RPV TV a shout out because during COVID, when you were mayor, right in 2020, we were dealing with the fact that everything was shutting down, and that pie eating tradition every fourth was so exciting for the community. We said, how can we continue it because we weren't going to do it with the community? Right. And you, that's why we had you and um, Dave yeah. Bradley start off just our own sort of to celebrate that and. Um, you just, you just were unbelievable. You just were the reigning champ ever since. And I remember getting the pie from Taranea. And you, oh, so, that was and good the, pie. And we got, I said, let's get something messy. We'll get a little blueberry, no lemon meringue. You were like, let's do something that's easy. And you bet. And you oh, just, it was a mess. <laughs> it was a mess. And, and we had you, video of that. No, no, so. no. And the, yes, it was great. You, you brought the the hats, the American yes. hats, the cloth hats, which of course made it messier. And but you had bibs for us. And and it, but we also had the flags. You didn't even and need a bib. You only get one bite. For done. some reason we knew that we were, whoever won holds the flag up first and there's these amazing photos you have and yeah i've got the flag up with a huge smile on my face and dave's just got he's just looking over his flag is down and he's just like looking at me in amazement like how did he eat pie so fast right, you inhaled it i think well that's the whole thing is you really have no time to chew like <laughs> you literally just have to put it into your into your body that instantly yeah. so dave bradley yeah the challenge he's is on you. okay don't be fooled. I'm that not going to challenge him. I'm going to let him make the first move. I'm available to do a pie contest if said go. member of council would like to Maria, do this again. I think Maria's ready to be the referee. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that. Uh, absolutely. Don't get too close to that plate once that thing starts. Yes. I'd... <laughs> it's, it's gone. It's just gone. Seconds. It's funny how it's funny how some of these these interviews actually devolve into the pie eating contest. And you just, um, you I'm going to. That's the one thing when I'm off the city council, I'm going to miss. I'll have to come back as a private citizen uh, to challenge others in the general public. But like you said, you got to keep it real and uh, get the community involved in the city website i just always pitch this yeah. rpvca.gov in fact you know that's where you can find out all what's going on when the council's meeting highly recommend you can watch it right on on the city's website or right. rpv tv and of course the city's website for all the 50th right. is rpv50.com you can find out about all the parties that are going on you just have to type in john crookshank and pie and he comes up on youtube yeah. you don't have to type rpv is that true? that's yeah, absolutely they'll true find you and they'll just see i didn't know um, that about how well you did consuming that pie. You people in media know things that I don't know. Yes. 
And but you learn you, something new every day. No, you've you've all the, the whole RPV TV team has <laughs> always been amazing, and you know I appreciate the fact that we come to these events and you give us an opportunity to talk. And I I'm I'm exactly the opposite of a politician. I think I I always think, oh my God, what did I say? And then I realize you guys are you're doing it for the community. And I know these talks are to get people to come out to events like today's event and uh, appreciate 50 years of our city being uh, incorporated, 1973. And I think you said this park was 1977, so mm -hmm. it was a few years afterwards. And I didn't realize about the, the Four City Grove until we had this event. So that's what's neat about these events is that you do always learn something new about the city. There aren't any plaques on these trees. I mean, you, it's, I always hate when they put plaques everywhere. Anyhow, I think it's just nice to remember that. And it's nice that we're able to talk about it today. And even before it, it became, when the city was incorporated, um, it was called Rancho Palos Verdes Park before then they named it after Robert E. Ryan. So the park's been around for a while for the community to enjoy. But it, what the city has done in our Rec and Parks Department, we always give oh, them a shout out right. for how they manage all, yeah. all of the parks and, and the trails and everything we've got here for the community because um, there's no best place better and more beautiful than to come and get out in nature than right here in our own city. So grateful. And just remember that RPV50 website because there's going to be events every month yeah. leading up until What's the big what? the big day in September. I think you mentioned Fourth of July and then. The but so we and we've got. Is we there have, movies um, in the park? M m music in the park. Yeah, music in music the park. Music in the park. So go on the website and check it out. Okay, great. Well, everyone, come on out. Great to talk to everyone. Thank you so much for being our special guest today, John. Oh, you bet. My pleasure. Okay, Marie, I think it's time for us to spread our wings and fly over to that butterfly mural. All right, well, we traveled over to this beautiful butterfly wall, and we have the amazing Gonzalez family from the peninsula joining us. Talk about why you love coming to Ryan Park. Well, of all the parks in PV, this one is our favorite because of the pirate ship. We love pirate ships, right? Because what does yeah. a pirate say? Arr! Yeah. Arr! <laughs> what do you enjoy about coming to Ryan Park? Um... The park. <laughs> <laughs> you got the right answer. It's everything, Erin. The baseball field and all yeah. the grassy areas. It's all awesome. We love it here. And this is a very special place. And do you get out to the park often with your family? Not as much as I would like to. However, my kids come with their nanny all the time. They're here probably at least once a week at Ryan Park. It's fantastic. Are we going to get you all flapping your wings in front of the butterfly? Go for oh, it. Yeah. Let's see this. Here we go. Love it. Well, we're, we're so glad you came to celebrate Picnic in the Park with us. One, two, three. Here we go. They're flying away. Bravo. Today I'm here working at Picnic in the Park. We've had a lot of people coming by for that event and stopping off to see the mural. This mural has been seen over thousands and thousands of times on the internet. We want you to stop by the park and get your wings by standing in front of the mural and posing. So come on down, Ryan Park, Rancho Palos Verdes, enjoy our native plant garden, enjoy the park, and have a great time. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Susan Brooks, former mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes, our paradise in California, the most beautiful place. I'm so excited to be here with the butterfly wall and all of this fantastic art and the history of all the people who have helped to create this lovely garden. I think this is going to be my new favorite place. One of the reasons is because we had this park named after former Mayor Bob Ryan. I was on the city council at the time with Bob and unfortunately he passed away right after he left the position and right after I was mayor. But I did request that we name something after Bob Ryan because he may not have been the father of the city even though he was on the first city council, but he would often be called the godfather of our city because in his true Irish spirit and Irish temper and smarts, he watched over everybody and he knew everybody and how to get things done for this city to get it started. So I see his family have all helped, Alexa, Max, Nick, and uh, everyone there. It's just so exciting to see his children and his grandchildren and Liz and her husband, that these guys have all chipped in to do so much for this wonderful place. God bless you all. It was so great to get those facts from former Mayor Brooks. What a day we've had, Maria. 
Well, Liz, this was a wonderful way to spend a Saturday in the park. Yes. You know, when you say Saturday in the park, I always think of that great song by Chicago. Yeah, me I'm too. I'm not going to break out and singing Saturday <laughs> in the park, but always a feel-good song. And this was such a feel-good event Yes. on a, on a fabulous day again in Rancho Palos Verdes. Happy 50th anniversary Happy party 50th continues here. Happy 50th anniversary. <laughs> and we have a very special song. We're going to leave you to celebrate our 50th anniversary. So... Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo. And I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Take it away, Meg. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rancho Palos Verdes and all the kids that are here. <laughs>